Hey guys and welcome to World War II Solitaire board game channel and look at what I found open fire solitaire tank combat in World War II this is one of the old ones just like ambush and um, raid on Saint Nasser and B-17 Queen of the Skies one of the very first World War II solitaire board games this is published by Victory Games and basically what it says on the box is that it's like ambush but instead of uh, squad combat, infantry combat, it's gonna be tank combat. So let's start by taking a look at the back of the box. We, I think the front is quite beautiful but most of the old older games are. At the back of the box it's a little bit worn. Uh, we see some kind of metal display from World War II and uh, we can read here on the back and there's so much text so i'm gonna actually let you guys read it if this is something you wanna read i'll give you a moment now to pause the video and go ahead and read it for yourself see if i can get my camera to focus there we go and then we have some more text over here and basically inspired by the award-winning ambush solitary game system Open Fire provides the player with a platoon of American armor faced with a variety of missions against an ever-changing hidden German foe. And we can see here that the solitaire suitability is obviously very high. Complexity is supposed to be medium. Uh, contents, we have 210 counters, a map sheet, a rule sheet, <laughs> a rules booklet, paragraph booklet, 79 unit characters characteristic cards, mission cart ride, uh, cart ride view sleeve, platoon record sheet pad, uh, display sheet, uh, decimal dice and counter storage tray. Uh, and it's 50 meters per hex time scale is simultaneously rel relative time, unit scale is individual vehicles, guns, squads, players is just one and playing time is from 3 to 4 hours per mission. So let's open this bad boy up. It's a used copy, obviously. This is so old. I managed to find it for a pretty good price on a Facebook group. And we have two D10. I don't know if these are the original D10, but they do look old. They don't look like any D10 I've seen before. And we have our rules of play. And some guy has been nice enough to mark out the important stuff. So it's quite a lot of rules to this game. We have some examples here. For example, this is an example how to fill out your record sheet. But yeah, it is looks similar to um, Patton's Best. Here we have some example. It looks like so not. I don't think this is gonna be an easy game to learn. So we'll see if I if I'll ever do a playthrough video. I hope so because I do like tank combat. Here we have our missions. We have uh, mission 1, the Grand Prix, mission 2, the mistake, mission 3, the classical, the classic defense, mission 4, bad Krishnach, uh, mission 5, the garage, and mission five, uh, 6, Red Ball Express. And then we have our counters and that was actually, I was so happy to see this because this is what I used to make sure that that game was complete. Uh, and yes, it was. All of the 210 pieces still there after, I don't know, uh, all, it must be 45 years old. Yeah, this is from 1987. So that's uh, that's 44 years old. That's, that's an old game. If you think about it, when this game was released 44 years ago, it was 1943. And the war was still going on so that's you know kind of something to think about that that's that's how much time has passed since this game was produced that actually World War two was closer than present time was pretty crazy we have the paragraphs and that's also something you you notice when you read on the back of the box because it says something like yeah, yeah you know do all the things that your dad the uh, stories told you about and you know my grandpa is born in like 42 or something so he was like three years old when the war ended anyway let's not get sidetracked here we have all of the paragraphs 
Not really sure what that is, but we'll find out. <laughs> it's a bunch of them. I'm guessing that's one so oh, what's that? <laughs> that's some carbonara, I hope. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, we have a bunch of cards. And these are gonna be the cards uh, describing, I'm guessing, your different kind of units. Ooh, there's so many of them, and there's so many of for different crews as well. And I don't see any reason to go through all of these cards, but basically you have for infantry squads and different tanks and vehicles. Uh, and, you know, you see there's duplicates or something like that. So I'm guessing you'll get these with your uh, with your units. These, however, are kind of cool. Um, there's some kind of uh, whoops. So cards describing different kind of uh, units. So uh, let's go through these cards at least. So we have a US infantry squad. And then we have a Jeep. And I just think these cards are so beautiful. Because you get to see the vehicles from every side. So general purpose vehicle. And we have a US truck. Two and a half ton truck. And a half track. And then we have the Greyhound car, the M8 armored car, a cute little uh, armored vehicle, M10 uh, tank destroyer, the Wolverine, and then we have Sherman tanks, and we actually have several different kinds, or two different kinds, because we have the, the M4A1, and then we have the M4A3, you see that's, uh, you can see the gun difference is quite big, much bigger gun on the A3. So M4A1 Sherman tank and M4A3 Sherman tank. And then we have a Pershing tank, M26 Pershing tank. That's a massive, massive uh, tank. And then we have German infantry squads. Oh, I missed these. We have a anti-tank as well. A Puck, an 88. And we have a German truck. And a half track, not even gonna try it. Okay, I'll try it. Mittlerer Schützen Panzerwagen, something like that. And a Panzer IV, a Panther tank, which is the Panther uh, Panzer V. And then we have a Jagdtiger. I don't know much about this uh, tank counter actually. And then we have the, the very iconic Tiger tank, of course. We can't have a World War II tank game without the Tiger tank. And that's it. Also with the US Infantry Squad we also have the 76.2 uh, M5 anti-tank gun. So those are our unit cards. We have uh, some commercial here. I was just looking through this and you have, you know, <laughs> you can buy Ambush for $25 and so on. Uh, yeah, time for good. And then, I don't know what this is, but it's... You know, some kind of uh, some kind of chart. Uh, we have action round track, accident table, uh, AP fire modifications, uh, AP fire damage results, and movement po point cost chart. And then what this stuff is, I don't know because it says here like, see if I can get it to focus. Jack Tiger, Panther. Panzerfaust. I don't know what I mean. This is probably gonna be like some damage, but <laughs> look at this stuff. It, it goes all the way. It's like <laughs> like this is my arm. It's long. It's longer than my arm. So <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, we have on the other side. We have stuff too. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's basically the same. So I don't know how that works, but that is gonna be interesting to find out. And. Like that wasn't enough. I think I've seen this in an ambush video uh, because this is look at this stuff. I don't know how that works, but I'm guessing this is gonna be like it says mission cartridge sleeve. So I'm guessing this is how you're gonna do like random missions, or when you start your mission, you're gonna do some strange thing to see like okay, I'm gonna place the tank there and whatever. Uh, not sure how that works, but that's gonna be fun. Random event and event marker. But it seems to me like a very smart way uh, to calculate things, you know, without a computer. And we have our platoon record sheets. 
quite a lot of those remaining. We have a paper map <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and show it uh, in the end of the video. I'm gonna show all of it. And then we have our counters. And well, I mean they're just regular counters. I don't think they are anything special. They look a lot like the counters from uh, from Patton's best when when I'm. That's just the first thing I thought about. That they look very much like the Patton's best counters. Oh, the Pershing tank. It's so beautiful. I love that tank. I mean they're they're not ugly or anything. They're just you know nothing special. And there's 210 of these little things, and I'm very happy to see that all of them are there because with the with the patents best game, I um, I've actually only got I, I missed one counter, and that counter was a Mada, a Mada Svai, I think it was. So anyway, the map. Give me a moment to pause the video. I'm gonna go up so you can see the whole map. Yes, unfortunately you can't see the whole map because I got the camera set up so as high as I can, but it's still too big. But I mean, it's you can see that it's kind of this, you know, old style map. It's not very beautiful, I wouldn't say. The colors aren't very nice, but it's what it is. Open fire, it says over here. Uh, and you know, you have uh, water and rivers, you have some kind of mountains and forests. And uh, down here you have some kind of uh, village. See if I fold it up, you can see that side as well. So here we have our map key. We have clear hexes, rough terrain, woods, buildings, and towns. And then we have different levels. We have roads, dirt roads, impassable terrain, bridges, and streams, and impassable water hexes. So yeah, not the most beautiful map I've seen, definitely, but uh, maybe it does the job. I'm not gonna judge it uh, from the map. Uh, and yeah, that's that's what you get in this game, my friend. Uh, this is uh, open fire. Really, sometimes I wish I could just press a button and learn a game because I really want to play this game, but I have a feeling that it's it's gonna be hard to uh, learn this one. But I hope to learn it as fast as possible to show you guys how it works. Maybe this fall I have like a vacation, six longs week vacation, vacation in September and I might play some open fire during that fall. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.